This is a training module for the Cirrus Logic CS4525 30 watt digital audio amplifier with integrated analog to digital converter. Welcome to the training module on the Cirrus CS4525 30 watt digital audio amplifier with integrated ADC. We will be studying the Cirrus CS4525 application configuration and its available features in the coming slides. The CS4525 is a stereo analog or digital input pulse width modulated high efficiency class D amplifier audio system with an integrated stereo analog to digital converter. The stereo power amplifiers can deliver up to 15 watts per channel into 8 ohm speakers. The power stage outputs can be configured as two full bridge channels, 15 watts per channel, or two half bridge channels and one full bridge channel for two channel 7 watt and one channel 15 watt operation, or one parallel full bridge channel for one channel 30 watt operation. Here we show the analog to digital converter feature of the CS4525, which has 24 bit, 48 kilohertz stereo conversion. It has multi bit architecture and it supports up to 95 dB dynamic range. It also has minus 88 dB total harmonic distortion. The main digital serial port on the CS4525 can support asynchronous operation with the integrated on-chip sample rate converter, SRC, which eases system integration. The SRC allows for a fixed pulse width modulated switching frequency regardless of incoming sample rate as well as optimal clocking for the ADD modulators. The common applications of the CS4525 are integrated digital TVs, flat panel TV monitors, computer TV monitors, mini micro shelf systems, digital powered speakers, portable docking stations, and computer desktop audio. Here's the block diagram of the CS4525. It consists of a multi-bit Sigma Delta analog to digital converter where stereo analog input is fed and a serial audio input port where the serial audio and clock are given. There is an audio processing block which has a parametric equalizer where filtering and adaptive loudness compensation are done. It also has a two-channel mixer and a 2.1 base manager. Its pulse width modulated block can do an integrated sample rate conversion. This signal is buffered and amplified. It has a set of registers and a hardware configuration for I squared C communication and to handle interrupts and the reset. The CS4525 integrates on-chip overcurrent, under voltage, and over temperature protection and error reporting as well as thermal warning indication and programmable foldback of the output power to allow cooling. The main digital serial port on the CS4525 can support asynchronous operation with the integrated on-chip sample rate converter SRC which eases system integration. An on-chip oscillator driver eliminates the need for an external crystal oscillator circuit reducing overall design cost and conserving circuit board space. The CS4525 includes two internal linear regulators, one from the VDD supply to provide a fixed 2.5 volt supply to its internal digital blocks, and another from the VDD supply to provide a fixed 2.5 volt supply to its internal analog blocks. The LVD pin must be set to indicate the voltage present on the VD pin.
Here we show a procedure of how the CS4525 device is powered up. Here is a procedure for power down of the CS4525 device. Here we explain how the CS4525 is configured in its software mode. All device configuration is achieved via the I2C control port. In this mode, maximum device flexibility and features are available. The CS4525 can be clocked by a stable external clock source input on the system clock pin or by a clock internally generated through the use of its internal oscillator driver circuit. The CS4525 has two configurable logic level pulse width modulated outputs, pulse width modulated signal 1 and pulse width modulated signal 2. These outputs can be used as either digital input to an external pulse width modulated amplifier such as the CS4412 or as an analog input to a headphone amplifier or a line out amplifier. The internal clock is used to synchronize the input serial audio signals with the internal clock domain and to clock the internal digital processing, sample rate converter, and pulse width modulators. The CS4525 must be informed of the nominal frequency of the supplied system clock signal or the attached crystal via the clock frequency bits 0 and 1 in the clock configuration register. A limited feature set is available when the CS4525 powers up in the hardware mode. All device configuration is achieved via hardware control input pins. The CS4525 must be clocked by a stable external clock source input on the system clock pin. The CS4525 will, will remain in a completely power down state until the reset pin is brought high. This input clock is used to synchronize the input serial audio signals with the internal clock domain and to clock the internal digital processing sample rate converter and a pulse width modulator. It also is used to determine the sample rate of the serial audio input signals in order to automatically configure the various internal filter coefficients. In this mode, the CS4525 can accept analog or digital audio input signals. The digital audio input signals are supplied to the serial audio input port. Analog audio input signals are supplied to the internal A to DC converter. The input source is selected by the ADC slash SP pin and can be changed at any time without causing any audible pops or clicks. In hardware mode, the CS4525 offsets the pulse width modulated switching edges between the channels as a method of managing switching noise and reducing radiated emissions. Also in the hardware mode, the CS4525 operates as a two-channel full bridge pulse width modulated amplifier with analog or digital inputs. Both the pulse width modulated outputs and the auxiliary serial outputs are unavailable in the hardware mode. The CS4525 includes three pulse width modulators and three corresponding sample rate converters, each clocked from the external crystal or system clock applied at power up. The SRC also allows the pulse width modulator output to be independent of the input serial audio clock jitter. This results in very low jitter output and a higher dynamic range. This slide shows a circuit for a half bridge output filter. 
Here, a transient voltage suppression circuit is implemented as an RC snubber network comprised of a resistor, RS, 5.6 ohms, 1 8 watt, and a capacitor, CS, 680 picofarads. This should be placed as close as possible to the corresponding output pin. This circuit decreases the slew rate of the output signal and reduces high frequency ringing, which can lead to increased EMI. The Schottky diodes D1 and D2 protect the body diodes of the output devices by conducting load current during switching transitions. These diodes must be present to ensure proper device operation. This slide shows the output filter for stereo full bridge and parallel full bridge output configurations. Transient voltage suppression circuits are implemented as an RC snubber networks comprised of resistors RS, 5.6 ohm, 1 8 watt, and capacitors CS, 680 picofarads. These should be placed as close as possible to the corresponding output pin. These circuits decrease the slew rate of the output signal and reduce high frequency ringing, which can lead to increased EMI. The Schottky diodes protect the body diodes of the output devices by conducting load current during switching transitions. These diodes must be present to ensure proper device operation. This circuit provides the necessary high frequency filtering with a first order low pass filter that has less than 0.05 dB of attenuation at 24 kilohertz. It also includes a DC blocking capacitor to accommodate the analog input pins bias level. To interface 2 volt RMS input signals with the CS4520 analog inputs, an external resistor divider is required. In I squared S format, data is received most significant bit first, one S clock delay after the transition of the LR clock and is valid on the rising edge of S clock. The left channel data is presented when LR clock is low. The right channel data is presented when LR clock is high. In left justified format, data is received most significant bit first on the first S clock after a LR clock transition and is valid on the rising edge of S clock. The left channel data is presented when LR clock is high and the right channel data is presented when LR clock is low. In right justified format, data is received most significant bit first and with the least significant bit pre presented on the last S clock before the LR clock transition and is valid on the rising edge of S clock. The CS4525 power calculator provides many important application specific performance numbers for the CS4525 based on a user supply design of parameters. The power calculator uses first order approximations to serve as a guideline in designing new applications featuring the CS4525. The power calculator assumes that all applications follow Cirrus Logic's recommended layout considerations and guidelines for the CS4525. It is important to note that deviation from these recommendations in an application may result in a discrepancy between the calculator's predictions and the application's results. This slide shows a configuration diagram for a two-channel 7-watt stereo with a one-channel 15-watt subwoofer. This slide shows an application configuration block diagram 
for a two channel 15 watt stereo plus one channel 30 watt subwoofer. This slide shows an application configuration block diagram for a two channel 30 watt stereo plus one channel 30 watt subwoofer. This slide shows application configuration block diagram for a two channel 15 watt biamp stereo with subwoofer output. 